BenQ Zoe har lanserat två nya gamingskärmar och ingen av dem har G-Sync eller FreeSync men de har väldigt hög uppdateringsfrekvens. Vi tar en pratstund med BenQ Zoe för att reda ut vad ska man köra på? Extrem uppdateringsfrekvens eller G-Sync FreeSync? Presenteras i samarbete med Turtle Beach, Max Gaming och LG. Maxade uppdateringsfrekvenser eller G-Sync FreeSync, det är en fråga som många av er där ute ställer och faktiskt även vi. Jag har testat BenQ Zoe's första 27 och 24 tums modeller med extrema uppdateringsfrekvenser och det är ingen G-Sync eller FreeSync med på dessa modeller. Vi tar en chans här att prata med deras e-sportansvarige Persad och ska diskutera lite varför har man satsat på de här modellerna där man då helt enkelt utelämnar G-Sync och FreeSync. Can you tell me a bit about yourself before we go into the details about the products? Sure, uh, I used to be a former professional from uh, Southeast Asia. I used to play Counter-Strike. I think it's been about 12-15 years now. Uh, a couple of months back, you know, they asked if I wanted to come over to Zawi and help them out for the Asian region. I said yes and uh, here I am. Awesome. Uh, as I talked here before with our viewers in Swedish, we were discussing Gaming monitors, we see a lot of gaming monitors with G-Sync, FreeSync and stuff and that is something that a lot of people have been starting to expect from uh, from new monitors. Mm -hmm. Your new monitors, the new 27 and 24 inch, is not featuring G-Sync or FreeSync. Yep. Why is that and why have you made this decision? Uh, I mean, for us, the most important thing is that the gamers get the best performance from our monitors. For the 2735, uh, XL2735, we have that with Diac technology. And the newest monitor that we have, the XL2540, uh, that comes with a 240 hertz uh, refresh rate. Uh, that's basically our version of uh, how we can help the gamers get the best performance in game. I mean, all those technologies, G-Sync, FreeSync, they're all great technologies, but it's just not something that we have uh, right now at BenQ. Uh, speaking about Diac, uh, in the future we will have Diac on the 2540, but because uh, 240 hertz is still a pretty new technology, uh, we need a little bit more time uh, with it uh, to make sure that when we release the product, like all the other products that we have, uh, the gamers will enjoy using it and that it will prove uh, to have some benefit for them. Okay, if we're talking to normal consumers here, they are a bit hesitant. Okay, should I focus on a G-Sync monitor, FreeSync, or should I go with one, for example, your new models with higher uh, refresh rates? Uh, I would say that if you're looking for an eSport game where you have really high frame rates, there is when you really have a benefit of having the higher frame rate and when you go for like higher resolutions, more demanding games, then G-Sync and FreeSync are often a good solution. Would that be a good uh, presumption? I think it's uh, very dependent on the person that's using it. Uh, like we have at Zowie, most of our products, if someone comes to buy it, it's because they've experienced it first, so it's a lot of personal preference. Uh, for example, with the 2540, the feedback that we get from it is that it's very smooth and if you're looking for an eSports monitor, that's the kind of monitor you should be going for. Uh, for other uses, I'm sure there are great, many great technologies out there, many other great brands as well. Uh, but if it's for eSports specifically, which is what we design our equipment for, then yes, uh, you should definitely go for the BenQ XL 2735 or the 2540. Okay, can we expect you guys to do uh, similar monitors with high refresh rates that also support G-Sync or FreeSync? Uh, is that something you have discussed? Uh, in the future, maybe. Um, these are all uh, things that we can't really talk about, also being planned, I guess. Uh, just like, But the one thing that we can confirm is that in the future we will have Diac on uh, our 240 hertz monitors. So I guess that's something to look forward to uh, for all the eSports enthusiasts out there. Okay, awesome. Uh, so, uh, eSporters, uh, high refresh rates and uh, Diac technology, right? Yeah. Uh, could you tell me a bit more about Diac? We've been looking at technology before. Uh, could you give me a quick brief of how and why you actually started to develop this technology? Um, when, we, when we've done a side-by-side -side comparison, and that's usually how we show people uh, you know, the benefit of Diac, you put them side by side and even though both monitors have you know 144 hertz with the Diac technology you get added clarity and that's very important especially when you're playing a game like Overwatch or Counter-Strike and you're moving across the screen at pretty fast speeds you want to make sure that you don't miss out on something that uh, could potentially win or lose your game so that's the reason we moved and uh, tried to 
not just increase hertz, but get a technology that could give you better clarity. And that's what Diac technology does. Now with the 2540, we've got a, a increased smoothness because of the higher refresh rate, and we want to introduce that together with Diac technology in the future, so you get the smoothness as well as that uh, you know fast clarity that you can get from a Diac monitor. So, so why is the reason that you don't have Diac in the new 20, uh, 25 model? Well, with 240 hertz, uh, a, a true 240 hertz, it's still a very new technology for us. Uh, we still need time to, to make sure that both technologies are compatible with each other and something we're working on right now. We hope to have it out in the near future. Okay, thank you. Awesome, and thank you, Prasad, for joining us. Thank you for having me. Take care.